What's up everyone? My name is Carmen and I'm Darius and we are the founders of Wealth Nation. This is going to be a little bit different for us. We're going to do a different spin on our YouTube videos and we're actually going to create a series and the series is called Becoming Your Own Banker. So the reason why Darius and I decided to switch gears just for a little bit is because so many people have inquired about infinite banking, which is amazing, and they want to know more about the concept and we want to be able to share our foundation with you and our foundation of infinite banking all came from this book becoming your own banker by mr r nelson nash so this series that we're going to be going through is breaking down the book and some of the concepts that are in this uh, book here mm -hmm. so we want to just be able to share like we said more information with you all and continue to break out more information regarding becoming your own banker and infinite banking if you know us, you know that we're super transparent when it comes to the information that we have and where we're getting it from. Yes. Everything that we know about infinite banking started with Nelson Nash becoming your own banker. Mm -hmm. And what he explains in, uh, in the beginning of this book is uh, geared around the fact that the average person knows next to nothing about banking. And when it comes to banking, it's the single most important function that exists yes. uh, in our our day to day life. Mm -hmm. Business would cease to exist or uh, cease to uh, to move without thrive anything yeah. anything without when it comes to banking. Mm -hmm. So we thought again, it was very important that uh, we go over this book. Every person that we come in contact with, we uh, recommend that they buy this this book, and uh, we just want to shed more a little more light on it. Yes. So we'll go ahead and get started with the first page, really, of the Becoming Your Own Banker book. We're looking at part one. And part one, um, the, the main points that we want to point out, so I'm going to read something really quickly, where um, this quote was, if some authoritative power distributed all the money in the world equally amongst all the people in the world, Within 10 years time, 97% of all the money would be under the control of 3% of the people. Mm -hmm. So 97% of the money would then be back in control of 3% of the people. And that's significant. Really going back to what Darius is saying is, people really just don't understand banking and mm -hmm. they don't understand the value of money and that's why it's so important to continue to educate yourself because this isn't necessarily a proven fact but it makes you think about it because that's kind of where we are right now as yeah. a society and even if all the money was redistributed do you think that the money would somehow magically end up back where it started yes i, I think so what do you think yeah Absolutely. Right now, the money, our money supply rests with about 2% of the population. Mm -hmm. So there's, it's because they know something about finances that, that we don't. Mm -hmm. And if that was a change based on what Nelson Nash is talking about in this book, then it would end up right back where it started. Yeah. Because that's what, that's how water, uh, water is or the ocean is. And he goes in to uh, explain that in his first section talking about the ocean, 75% of the, the earth is covered in water. Yeah. But when it evaporates, it creates a wind current and uh, uh, rain comes, rain uh, happens and mm -hmm. somehow that, that water supply ends back up where it started. Yeah. So the same thing uh, applies <laughs> when it comes to our finances. Yeah, I, I love that analogy that Nelson talked about with the ocean because it's so, so visual. Yeah. And it also made me realize that money affects everything. And we know this as infinite bankers, but I'd say before we even got into this concept, we were just happy when our direct deposited, our direct deposits hit our bank account. Yeah. And that was probably the extent <laughs> of our banking, uh, besides being able to use credit cards and personal loans and such. But now having an understanding of the banking industry and how everything is money mm -hmm. and how money is circulated around the world has really opened our eyes to, under, to, to better understand money and have a, a better appreciation for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and one thing with that point is just, just think about money for a second because money is everything. Money is the, f the phone that we're recording this video for, the tripod, our lights. Money is our clothing, the food that we eat. 
and the reason why we say this is because it took money in order to get those things mm -hmm. and those things that you purchase money with are of value mm -hmm. so they're considered one and the same it just means of exchange right because if we didn't have any money and we needed some money you best believe we could trade that iPhone in and get a few dollars for it <laughs> so everything is money and just being able to realize that so as you're going about your day just look around you and understand that your jeans your your clothing everything is money and mm -hmm. you need to be able to respect it and also use it to your advantage yeah and the more we respect money the more we understand the value of things mm -hmm. and as we understand the value of things we can start manipulating it a little bit for our benefit leveling up yeah because now we're not just consumers mm -hmm. now we are strategists and <laughs> and thinking how to best utilize our money and not falling into those ploys of of marketing and advertising and oh you need this and you need the next best gadget mm -hmm. because again when it comes to the distribute the distribution of money if money to be, to, were to be redistributed amongst all of us, how much of that money would you want to keep? <laughs> you said a mouthful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I felt it. It felt good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, th that is literally just page 11. The very first page, opening up with this book, it already hits you off with some really amazing points. Mm -hmm. um, and the other things that we have highlighted here is just banking is the most important business in the world. And again, going back to Darius's point as far as how no business could survive without banks. Right. So when it comes to our finances, we should understand um, what we do um, as a, a means of exchange for, for money. Mm -hmm. um, and our second business should be understanding banking. So true. Well, this is the wrap up for the very first um, session for this Becoming Your Own Banking series. Mm -hmm. We hope that you all enjoy the content and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and, and also like this video. And also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. Make sure you purchase the book. Yes. And own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will. <laughs>